Hey friends, this is Lindsay for So Fonzie. Welcome back to another video. Um, in today's tutorial, we are doing um, a sublimation to create this really cool tie-dye look. So this is really cool, you guys. Um, and it's super easy. And um, you just gotta trust the process because like with regular tie-dye, it's gonna turn out a little bit different each time, but it's, you know, that tie-dye look. So um, it's gonna be super bright and, um, you know, just that really awesome. Um, randomness of the design um, and then we're gonna put this um, gorgeous sugar skull mandala um, from the uh, big mandala design bundle um, so link in the video description for that so stick around and um, we'll go ahead and get started so first you'll need to print out the tie-dye for the sublimation and there are some really fun tie-dye prints on the Sofonti site so I've linked to those in the video description as well um, I'm printing with the Sawgrass SG-1000 and that can print on 11 by 17 inch paper. So I've set up that uh, page size in um, Silhouette Studio, though you can use you know any design software that you can print from. from. The tie-dye pattern that I chose um, doesn't have a lot of white space to it. Um, so there's gonna be more application of that color onto the shirt. There's already gonna be um, white space on the shirt just because the shirt is already white. So um, if you really want a lot of color, then um, choose, a, choose a design like that. And then click File, Print. So when you print it out, don't worry that the sublimation tie-dye doesn't print out as bright as the actual pattern. Um, that's totally normal. It's the heat from the heat press that brings out that color. So warm up your heat press to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So just like with, you know, any sublimation project, um, this is going to work well with a white, um, high polyester content shirt. Um, that way the color will come out as bright as possible. And to get that swirled look of the tie-dye, you're actually going to swirl the shirt. So um, start in the center and then just, you know, twist um, your wrist to start swirling the shirt into a circle. And um, when I did this, I actually really liked how the swirls look um, um, on the back of the shirt after I swirled it. So I actually decided to flip the shirt over um, to the back and then uh, swirl it together then um, the front would have the swirls on it that I liked better then um, take that sublimation print and lay it um, print side up on your work surface um, and then you'll need some heat resistant tape because you're gonna tape the shirt in its swirled position like this to the printed transfer and um, remember uh, I swirled the shirt from the back um, with the back facing up so you know when I transfer it on top of this print um, now the front of it of the shirt is in contact with the sublimation transfer so um, that's what you'll want to do and I decided to do just the front of the shirt um, but actually next time I think I'll do the back so um, after sublimating the front you would do the exact same thing uh, exact same steps um, and just repeat it for the back and use, you know, a fair amount of the heat resistant tape to make sure that the transfer is on there really well. Um, and then I, you know, went ahead and cut off that extra transfer. So again, if you're just printing on 11 and or um, eight and a half by 11 inch paper, then I think that's going to be totally big enough. Then you always want to press a sublimation transfer with the sublimation paper on top of the item. So when you're pressing it, it is in contact with the upper platen. But make sure that you protect your heat press with a piece of um, parchment covering the bottom. And then, you know, just put a piece of parchment over the top of the sublimation transfer. And then press for 60 seconds. And then um, because this is kind of bulky, you may need to um, reduce the pressure so, you know, you can close the heat press. But then when it's done, just carefully remove it from the press. You know, it's going to be really hot. Um, and then um, I just you know, cut off the tape um, from around the shirt and it already looks so super cool. Here's what the transfer looks like after pressing. Um, there was plenty of room on the top and the bottom, so um, the transfer was certainly big enough. 
Then just go ahead and unravel the shirt and you'll see that really cool application of the uh, sublimation tie-dye onto the swirled shirt. And it is going to be a little bit wrinkly, um, but I was able to um, iron out those um, wrinkles um, pretty much, so um, I wasn't too worried about that. So then next up, we're going to cut and weed the Sugar Skull Mandala design, and I'm using the Cricut Maker, but you can use your Scan and Cut or Silhouette or any cutting machine that you have. This is Caesar Easy Weed Black HTV. Just be prepared when cutting and weeding a mandala that uh, you're going to spend a little bit of time cutting and weeding because there's a lot of little pieces to do, but it's totally worth it because it just turns out so beautiful. So if you like this design or you want to check out more mandala designs, um, there's a link in the video description to the big mandala design bundle to check it out. And do be sure that you um, adjust the settings on your heat press um, from the sublimation settings. Uh, you press Easy Weed at 305 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds and then peel off the carrier sheet warm. And then just look at that. Such a cool design just by itself, but um, these bright colors just really, really bring out the design. So that's it for today's video. I really hope that you give this project a try um, because you can just have so much fun with, you know, customizing different um, tie-dye color schemes. I mean, this one um, with all the different bright pastel -y colors, I think it really um, brings out this Sugar Skull um, Mandala, um, which you can find in the Big Mandala Design Bundle. Uh, link in the video description for that. So go ahead and check it out. And um, we'll see you in the next video friends. Bye.